Welcome to Arnbrook to store our cruising today. We hope you're coming out and if you haven't, uh, you'll get to watch the video and see all the fun. So, bye. You can tell the story. I can tell the story. It's so much fun. No, I can tell the story. It's funny. So who you got with you here, Tabby? Okay, so this is my aunt, Lucinda, but we all call her Lulu. Um, and she had a birthday the other day, Thursday, and her daughter went on an eighth grade field trip and we all went to Dollywood. So she had the worst luck all day long all started when we uh, got breakfast in Wartburg at, at Hardy's. And uh, I was like, oh man, I'm so excited. I had bad luck too. I ordered two egg and cheese biscuits. I didn't get my cheese on my biscuits. But she um, she had a bowl of gravy and a biscuit. So she ate hers, you know, and I was a little upset I didn't have no cheese on my biscuit. So she said, here, dip it in my gravy. It's really good. I said, okay. So I'm driving down the road, eating my biscuit, dipping the gravy and uh, out of nowhere, she gasped for a loud, and I look over and she's got gravy all in her lap because she dumped the bowl in her lap. <laughs> so we had to make a pit stop to get her some new pants because we couldn't get it cleaned off. But it was fun. It we was had good. fun. It was a good trip. So, so you're here for the uh, car show today and helping yep. out everybody. We are. Looks like you got a bunch of apple pies here. Yep. All kinds of goodies. How you doing? All right. You gonna get you some snacks there, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get some snacks here. Yeah. We'll have to figure out how much you're selling them for, but I'll definitely get your sold. What's going on, Mike? Oh, well, we're, 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 we're having, it's happening right here. Everything's happening right now. Oh, uh, so let's see. $5. Hey. We're going to give you a dash plaque and a hey. ticket. Here's your dash plaque. Here's your dash plaque. Levi's got your ticket. I collect these. I've been collecting for years. Hey, Levi. Give us the dash plaques. You're going to be running around. Let me see one of them, just move what's on and see what it looks like. Come to film you riding a horsey. How good can you ride it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is that your favorite thing to do when you come here? Yeah. It's 
So, so first off, what's your name? James Ford. And you're from where? Knoxville. And you said you've been coming out here since you was 15 years old? Yeah, I got property over here on Mount Helen Road now. Try to get moved down here. That's where Vernon Smith lives, ain't it? Yeah. Mount Helen? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm so, down here next to the creek. So what was it like when, uh, when you was 15 years old? What was those store like around then? Oh man, we come here and back in there behind that big wood stove you know, where we get warm when we get hunting. Yeah, we'd come out and hang out around the stove. My dad, he he come out here for years, and I, he'd come out here and stay two or three weeks at a time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'd come out with Mr. Mr. Brooks here. He'd come out with him, I'd sit here and talk to him all the time. But it's something else. I've been coming here a long time. You come to the car shows every year? or is you... I was here last year. Last year, yeah. yeah last year. Put on my bill, he said. How much? Oh, five dollars. Thanks, sir. Good luck. Change. Your, your dash black. We're down to that many dash black. So you got here. This is one in. You go down there and put a stuff show you were to park. Being told. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. How you guys doing? All right. Y'all from Newport? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I saw you. I saw, I saw no, what it takes us. She, she found that. That's my girlfriend up there. Yeah. And we, just, we just bought this about a month or so ago. So she found that and put it on here. Where y'all from? Uh, Jamestown. Jamestown. Okay, just yeah. down the road there. $5, please. $5. Uh, well, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You still playing any vinyl? You got a record player? No. Oh yeah, I've got yeah. I've got an old record player. They're coming back in style now. Everybody buying yeah. the 45s, 78s, 33s. Yeah. Vinyl's coming back. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> you, could, uh, you can find them uh, if you Google about the uh, record players. There's quite a few companies sell them. Well, you have to hunt around on the internet, but they well, sell them. Well, uh, Walmart has them now, so they don't have Oh, Walmart selling them then, yeah, too? Yeah, they don't have oh. CDs no more. They got vinyl. Last like time I was in there, they got a section of vinyl. Well, I mean, it stands the reason. Why wouldn't they? Look at all the old vinyls that's still around. Yeah. I right. mean, they should have record players. They should start making them again. Right. What about that? There's a guy who passed away last year. Terry Lee Lewis, didn't he? Uh, uh, not too long ago. Yeah. He passed away, yeah. He was pretty old. I yeah. believe he was in his he 90s. Was 80, he was in his 80s. 80s? Yeah. 80s. Yeah. Everything. Here, like it this morning, so I keep it going. Exactly what my job title is. So, uh, you got a staff shirt on, you got I all the to, money. I had to fight for this. I said, I don't get no respect out here. Whenever you, you know, the cars coming here, they didn't know who's in charge. I mean, really, they did because <laughs> you know, they, they're they all running around here. These people, did. but if you've got staff on you, you can you demand respect. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm. I don't have a position, a title, uh, other than uh, maybe go for grunt. Grunt, grunt could be it. There, you know you. <laughs> I think you helped hang a sign there the other day, that danger sign over there. Danger. 
Yeah. Do you understand what the uh, why we need a sign that says danger right there? Probably thought it might be some liability. There might actually be some danger over there, but I don't, that don't look too dangerous to me. <laughs> but uh, the rocking horse, uh, they got a herd, herd of horses right over here. Yeah, they don't. You can't be uh, adults. Can't be riding them. They told me. Really? Yeah. You can't, did, I can't ride them no more. Huh? They just cut that completely out. Yeah, you got to be like only like <laughs> this tall. There's a height. There's a height limit. Climate. They say in a weight, and I like exceeded it six times. Huh. The weight well, limit. It, uh, seems to be uh, unfair. A little bit. Uh, there's a uh, <laughs> two tone Ford product. Ford. I think. So. Mm, got me. I was thinking Dodge, but let's see. You're probably right. See, You're doing? right. Look at that. Look at me be right. How about that? Hello, sir. Good morning. Bye, Bob. So, tell us why you got that name. How you got that name, Bing Bud? Well, uh, Sheriff and up in Claiborne County, he uh, bought a bunch of wild Mustangs out in Colorado and had them ship the rail. And he told us that boys break them. We just kids. They said I'd roll off like a Bing Bud. Couldn't stay on it. Uh, name stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that? Yeah, you're from uh, Claiborne County, right? Speedly. You still live Speedily? You still live there? Or you oh live? yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a good place to live up there, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Have you been over to Brooks's here before? No, this is my first time. First time. But yeah. I've been following you on YouTube and learned all about the store. Okay. So it surprised me when we pulled in here this morning. I learned the store. Yeah. It's here, it's real, ain't it? Yeah, it is, it's nice. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Janice Parker. And where, where are you from, Janice? Corbin, Kentucky. Corbin, Kentucky. Down bringing your Dodge to, to the show today, huh? Yes, my 1977 Dodge uh, Tradesman van. So how long have you had it? We've had it for probably about five, six years now. Five or six years? Yeah. Did, did you do restore it like you got it now, or how was it when you got it originally? When we originally got it, it just had the, the shag carpet inside. Um, it pretty much was about it. Um, we did the graphic designs on it, for done it up as Poison Ivy. And um, with a buddy of ours from Somerset, Kentucky, he did the graphics design. We made we did the bed in the back of it, the all the curtains and stuff I made. Because uh, it's 1977, so I had to have the beaded curtains. Let's look at them. Let's, okay. let's, Take a little tour of it here and see what all you've done to it. So let's look at the let's look at your graphics here. Poison mm -hmm. Ivy. Is that somebody that you uh, like, or how did you come up with this, putting this on here? Since the van the van was painted green, we was kind of just kind of going with the green um, coloring, and then of course I liked Poison Ivy from the comics and stuff, so we went along with Poison Ivy on it. Okay. Well, cool. So we'll but, look at the back here yeah. first, I guess. So oh. we, we made the bed in here and I did all the decorating with the flowers because it's, you know, her lair. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be Poison Ivy where she sleep, sleeps yep. at. Where she lures them in. Lures them in. So I'm yep. not real familiar with Poison Ivy. I've heard of them a few times. I thought, was it was she in Batman movies? She was in Batman. Yeah. She was. She was a villain and yeah. stuff, but uh, she's a bad girl. She she was, but she was kind of misinterpreted too. She was she was only bad when it came to being that they were destroying plants. Okay, if they, so, oh. but if it if it wasn't destroying plants, then she was good. <laughs> so th was this carpet in here when you got yes. it? Yes. You think this is a, was this originally? This is original, original carpeting of it. Yes. So where'd you get this van at? Local in Tennessee? We, or? No, we actually bought it out of Ohio. Um, and, and when we bought it, uh, guy, it didn't have a motor in it and stuff, so we fixed the motor and got everything else done up, but all it was was just the carpeting. The heart-shaped wood piece was all that was there. Let's look at the side view okay. of it here. Have you ever slept in it overnight? No. No? <laughs> Not no. take it out uh, overnight, huh? No. So was it originally, you think, made as a, as a custom uh, conversion van when it was new, or did you think somebody added this later? Um, I think they probably did some customing. I don't, we didn't ever get the story about all of that. The guy was just trying to get a project with him and his son, so, and it just didn't, they didn't take in with it, so. I bet it'd be, I bet it'd be kind of hard to find carpet like this nowadays to. It, it is a little bit, yeah. To, to, to buy. 
yeah. to buy it if you wanted to and ever replace it. Is it is a little bit, bit on for that finding. So it looks like it's got a custom grill there too. Did you all do the grill? We, put it in? we did put the grill in on it. We, and it took three motors to put into it. Three motors, what do you mean by that? Well, we put, we fixed one motor up and then it messed up. So we took it out, put another motor in and then it went down. So we took, this is the third motor that's finally worked with her. Third motor. They're mm -hmm. not easy to get in a van, the motors are. No, you actually, you have to pull the whole front end here off to slide them in. Right. And so if that's the way to do with them. Oh, you got graphics on this side too. It's yes. a different one. Yeah, she's a little different positioning there. So, do you drive it quite a bit, like out and about any, or just keep it at home? We take it to different car shows and cruise-ins around our area yeah. and stuff. So, I guess you get quite a bit of attention from it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows with her being poison ivy. So, you just tell me y'all have 17 vehicles all together. Yes. So, that's interesting. Yes, we do. Like, like cars, huh? That we do. Well, I appreciate you giving us a tour of it. Okay. Thank you so well, thank much. Thank you. I'm Jason Harper and it's my father Melvin and uh, we're showing off our 1970 F100 that he bought when I was 19 days old. New. Brand new. <laughs> so I had it 53 years. 53 years. Yeah, the story is I, I had my diaper changed by his college roommate in the back of a 67 Mustang Fastback while my mom and dad negotiated to buy this truck. So he kept the truck, got rid of the Fastback. <laughs> well, we won't be too mad about him for that. So. So let's, take, let's take a walk around and yeah. look at it and tell us you offered $2,500 uh, $2, for it, including tax and everything. To walk, and they can't do that. And five hours later, I walked out. Everything paid $2,500. Well, would, would you take $2,500 for it back today? Uh, maybe $25,000. <laughs> we, we, we've got all the original paperwork, too, all the, all the, um, the bill of sale and all that, the, the bank records, the, the loan sheets. We've got everything. So how about that? Yeah, but my, my, my parents are hoarders. So. Hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's got the original inline. It's an inline six. It's just a small motor, but it's all it's original. Oh, how about that? You know, yeah. We did have to get a new radiator for it and everything. And it, it finally went out, and it was too much to fix one to buy a new one. So I can see this original color you painted it back. What do they call that color? Reef Aqua Blue. Reef Aqua Blue. I knew it had to be Reef, something. Reef Aqua Blue. Well, you know, I don't think I've ever color. seen one that color before. It's pretty rare. And, uh, for that time period, it was it was kind of popular. I actually ran into a guy in Crossville who has a uh, same year model Bronco. And I, I, I wasn't in my truck that day. I just happened to show up and he was I, I sought him out. And I came up to him, I said, that's your Bronco? And he said, yeah, I said, Reef Aqua Blue. And he said to me, he said, Reef Aqua Blue. <laughs> so sometimes you'll see them in two-tone with a, with a white top and the Reef Aqua on the bottom. But So did you, did, did you, did you eventually give it to, to him? Or I you... gave it to him about 15, 16 years ago. No, it's been more than that. Been more than that. Yeah, he gave it to me when my wife and I were pregnant with my daughter, uh, my daughter Caitlin, and she, uh, she was born, she's 21 now, so. He gave it to me that year, and my, my wife's cousin uh, helped restore the engine on it. He, he rebuilt the motor on it, put it back together, put it on, and then we got it, got it painted after that. So. Yeah. And it has sat in the garage for 15 years up until three years ago. <laughs> yeah. The uh, county court clerk in the county where we live, I knew, knew his father. And I did not want to part with the original title when I deeded or titled it to him. So he let me keep the original title. Ah. So we've got the original title you in. Bring it in with my, you today? No. Don't have the title, but I've got all, I've got all the other paperwork. So. Let's, look, let's walk around here and take a look at it. You changed the <coughs> wheels, looks like, maybe on it. Yeah, I got some I got some aftermarket wheels. I work for a trucking company. I had a driver that one day I drove this up. He said, I got some wheels for you. And so I just got some after, this are later model F-150 wheels. But I do have the original wheels with the original dog dish hubcaps. And I've also got the deep dish reverse that kind of give it the wider tire if you want those that would be period correct. But we don't use those right now. My son's got a 1961 F100 unibody he's wanting to use those on, so. Show the hat there. Well, I, yeah, so this, this truck actually came from East Tennessee Ford in Knoxville, Tennessee. They give you that hat today. Yeah. You bought it? No, no. We, had, we picked that up. At Later. A, at a, at a, You're supposed to make that part of the story. <laughs>
<laughs> that's the original that's the original uh, tag that was on it 1969 and I've got the 1970 tag on the back so this was on there for like two two months or whatever uh, just when they bought it to now leave. what's this mean right here uh, joint I don't joint know. that means farm farm okay yeah. farm, so it's a special right. tag right so right. he's farming so we're we're big about the Gulf thing. My grandfather owned a Gulf station, so similar to uh, to Tiffany here. Uh, last time I was up here, I actually have his uh, certificate that's on a plaque where he was from 1932, a, a member of the, being a Gulf dealer. Right. And Tiffany's got one inside the door, just exactly like it. So I, I think there's 1926. 1926, it is. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So there's the there's the original sticker. Let's window see. sticker. It listed for three thousand thirty dollars. And he bought it for twenty five hundred. <laughs> Got him out the door. Well, that's quite a bit. Yeah, five hours. That was quite a bit off on three thousand. They were just trying to get rid of it. Was. You know how they have the, the sticker in the window on the lot? That's right. it. City of Knox. So what's this? Uh, Department of Public Safety. What is that? It's the registration, I guess, or uh, a safety inspection. Uh, safety inspection. Yeah. Well, I don't know oh, if yep, they do that. Public safety. No, no, they don't do that anymore. No, get, get you on the on the road as quick as possible. They did that in Chattanooga as well. Here's the invoice on it. East Tennessee Motor Company. It's just kind of neat to look back and see how things were done then. Yeah. And all the paperwork. And right. Well, I was in the used car business for many years, and my oh, yeah? dad had a Jeep dealership in the 70s, so. Uh, You've seen a lot of this. Then. I've seen some of it, yeah, but it's really neat to see somebody that's had There's the warranty. The warranty, how about that? <laughs> yeah, I think it's inspired. About the only thing we don't yeah, have. I think so. <laughs> the only thing we don't have is behind the seat, the springs, had a burlap liner back there, and then in behind the springs would have been the bill sheet. What do they call that? Uh, yeah, like where it came through the assembly line, the, the bill sheet. The assembly line, and I didn't know what it was until recently. It's the recent had a, it, yeah, and it, it, it deteriorated. Deteriorated. Right. Other way, otherwise, I would have pulled it out and saved it. So my mom worked at Hamilton Bank, Hamilton National Bank in Knoxville at the time, so that was. I think I've got their credit card in there or something. <laughs> there's so, uh, other papers. Owner's manual and different things. So. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm that's gonna... neat. That's a good story. You had a 50, 53 years. Huh? You, I don't think you said that in the comment that you had this for so long. I don't remember saying that about. You no. Just, uh, you just said you was bringing I just said it. I was bringing I said I'd be, I'd be up there sporting the, the F-100. So. Right. You didn't say that you just had it sit 53 years. Yeah. That's, that makes a good One story. On. It is. Then yeah. you show up and you got a door from Ricky. Yeah. Let's see yeah. what you got from Ricky. Here. Yeah. Like I said, I got a, my, my grandfather had a golf station in Inglewood, Tennessee. So I've seen your videos and I went down and saw Ricky about three weeks ago and my daughter and I, this is a, off of F-100 that's on our farm. Stepside F-100 is on our farm. It rolled, and we've got another cab in the back of it to, to fix it. But this door was damaged, so I said, I'm gonna bring this door up here. And uh, showed Ricky what I wanted done, and Ricky did a, just an outstanding job. I mean. So how much Ricky charged you to paint that? $175. $175, mm -hmm. how about that? Yeah. He's got a sign right here. He's got a sign right there. The ones he has on that he has in his shop are a hundred dollars, you know. But yeah. he's under under he's under charging for all well, that stuff. Well, he usually so. don't put he put a little bit more detail. He in had a lot of detail on I, this one. I've told him I said you're a little cheap on your work, and I think he's trying to go up a little <laughs> he bit. He needs to. Jumpman wants to keep them prices down though. So. He's a and Rick is a great guy. I mean, he, and I talked to him a couple of times by phone, and he remembered everything I talked to him about. He remembered my truck. He remembered I'm coming up with my dad, and and I I showed I. Talking about my daughter and I went up there and she had her iPad out there and showed him kind of what we wanted and he went from that and, and, and remembered it, you know. So he so did a great job. Did you, did, so it was your grandfather had the who, grandfather, he had yeah. he had a golf station in Inglewood, Tennessee. Golly, he had it when I was a kid. Yeah. I mean he was and he still owned it. Somebody else operated it, I think, even when I was a little younger, but bought it before the depression. Yeah. The you remember you remember going there as a kid? I do, yeah. 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 I remember going there and he had a he had a little you know candy machine. He'd give me a quarter. He had a a, a changer belt, you know, oh, like a coin yeah. changer. He'd give me a quarter out of his changer belt, and I'd go over and get me a, like a candy bar. Today, you? We've got it somewhere. You got yeah. it. Oh, how about that? My parents are hoarders. I said. That. <laughs>
<laughs> so I also see something back here in the back. I see an old Coleman cooler. I do. That's got to be an old one. That, that is a 1960 Coleman cooler. And um, last weekend I had gone to, uh, I can't remember where I went. I, oh, I had a flat tire on my Dodge and I took it to have the tire fixed. And on my way back, I, I saw a yard sale. I said, I'm gonna stop the yard sale. I haven't been to yard sale forever. It is a big neighborhood yard sale. Well, the very first place I stopped in, I saw they had glassware and all that. And I walked around and I saw this. And I said, I've got to buy that because it matches my truck. How much you pay for a cooler like that? How much would you think it'd go for? I'd say You're, about 125. $40. Really? That's yeah. what I said. I saw the price. I said, <laughs> I said, I said, hold, hold this for me. I'll be right back with the cash because I have no money with me. Is this the original? That's all original, yeah. That's original? Uh -huh. How about that? These are all original, so you can yeah, see they're dented and scratched. Right. This was a, war I mean, Dad, Dad used this truck for hauling firewood and... Gravel. Man, I, I wish I could... The, the bed is just almost still immaculate. He yeah. used, Dad was really smart back in the day. He kept a three-quarter inch piece of plywood in the middle of that right. uh, bed. So when you're using it and putting gravel and all that, it never, never dinged it up. So. so how many miles did you end up putting on it? What's it got on it now? Uh, I think we're at a... 130, 130 I think 000. it is. Huh? 130, yeah. So but, you said it sat for about 15 years, must have had so. Yeah, I had it at my house there in Murfreesboro, uh, in the garage. We had it up and running. When my when my son was born, I had him out in it a little bit. He is now 19. And uh, put it in the garage and it started getting stuff in the back of it. You know, you start putting oh, things yeah. in the back and <laughs> things on top of it. And So I pulled it out one day and it had about a quarter inch uh, layer of dust on it and sprayed it off and it looked beautiful. Started it right up with a battery, so. He went He went to Dole High School in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh -huh. It's now South Dole. Over yeah, there is football hill. Did yeah. you drive this to? This the, was my the, first car. That was your first car, okay. So this is my, this is my parking decal. How about that? My parking decal from high school still not, on there. That's your number of sparking parking Yeah, space. and then I have my football sticker helmet, or helmet uh, sticker that's there. That's just so. a great story to see a family that's kept a, a vehicle like that for so long. I'm yeah. Glad, I'm glad we got to get this and documented. I get, and I've got my son right behind me. who He's the third Ford boy, we call him. So he'll, he's 19 and he'll be having it next. So. How about that? Have you ever been to Brooks's before? Yeah, I oh. came up here three weeks ago with my daughter. My, my dad's been here before and Tiffany actually wrote an article about my yeah, dad. She, uh, whole, her Morgan County newspaper. Uh -huh. She uh, uh, wrote an article when <laughs> I came up here with two friends of mine. Yeah. My mother was born down the road down here in yeah. Morgan County, what is Pine Orchard area, okay. uh, right off of Airport Road mm -hmm. on the interstate down there. And we came up here, we were all three heart patients at the uh, University of Tennessee Medical Center. And we was in the rehab center down there. We said, came up here one day and uh, got acquainted with her. We got to talking to her. And she wrote the article and called us the Three Stooges. <laughs> <laughs> so Dad's, Dad's wanting to go back inside and say hello to her and no, see if she yeah. remembers that. And, uh, How long ago was that? I want to say about five years ago. Five That's the way I found out about this place is because he told me about it. And then I happened to, I don't know if I looked it up one day, that's how I found you. And I, yeah. I thought, well, that's Probably the same. Probably search Tari on Brooks. I don't even know how I did it, but I came up with you and I saw it was that and it connected with me. That's the place my dad was talking about. Right. So I said I had to come up here and give it a try. Now, where y'all live at now? Knoxville. Knoxville, okay. Yeah. Still, you still live in Knoxville. You're not yeah. time. Okay, I got yeah. you. And the, the, my two friends I came up here with, I'm 81, and one of them is a year younger, was a year younger than me, and then one's three years older than me. The youngest one died about six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear and that. And she called us the Three Stooges, and then she was amazed me about, amazed by my story, telling her about my mother, who was still alive at that time, and she was about 100 years old. Yeah. Wow, how about that? And she lived to be 102. Wow, yep. I'd like to have documented her. That'd be uh, she, oh, she, she, listen, she <laughs> yeah. told you everything about this. She'd area. have you some good Appalachian stories there. Yeah, yeah. we're working on a, a, a video uh, about Morgan County, a tourism video about, uh, you know how many red lights are in Morgan County? The whole county. The whole county? The whole county. Traffic lights. 42. Two. Two? two? In the whole Morgan <laughs> County. Well, one must be in Wartburg. There are two in Wartburg, yeah. There's two traffic lights and two caution lights. Now, so. I, so what do you think about that? Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm serious. no, that can't be right. Yeah, can't that can't be right. be right. That's not the town. Now, I took my daughter, we stopped in Wartburg when we came up here on the way back. 
And I, drove, I joked about the fact that it's a small town and you only have one light, and I saw two there. That's <laughs> I said that, but had no the idea. That's the county seat, how about that? That so is hilarious. I figured that out when we was filming down there. I got to thinking, well, we're talking about how to come, you know, people want to come here because there's not a lot of traffic and there's not a lot of big yeah. tourism stuff. No, I love there. it. And uh, so I, I asked Linda Brooks, Tiffany's mom, she's yeah. the one working with us. On I've got that. her cookbook signed by her. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah. I saw you were asking for it for seventy five dollars. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I said I've got a copy. I bought it. I bought it for my wife when I came up here. Uh, yeah, for some time back. The other two stooges. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they got uh, some of them got on eBay and I Amazon for up to $100, hundred hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, crazy. it's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, I've got it beside got it beside my chair there at the house. I've been reading it. But my mother, she was from the Pine Orchard community. Okay, I've not heard of that. And she went to school at CT. Okay. C -tick. C -tick school. <laughs> How about that? Old C-Tick. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to get around here and right. look at a few more things. I appreciate you uh, John, showing up you. To, the, to the car show. And, we appreciate uh, you. I appreciate you uh, taking care of this Ford. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank you, John. Yes, sir. They're a dollar a piece or six for five bucks. I got two dollars. I got two dollars in cash in. Okay. We'll get two more. I will take it. What are these for? What's the draw one going to be? This is 50-50. Half the pot and the other half goes to the house. Um, helps with the band oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. You're so. talking about the money that came. Is it for money or 50-50? Yes. It's however much I collect. So oh, however I nice they want to be with me is how much money you're going with. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you any? Uh, no. All right. He takes care of me now. Well, you guys, you guys enjoy. This is a great turnout. Money. I'm super excited. He bought this truck 53 years ago. Brand new. Oh my lord. 1970. I was only 19 days old when I bought it. See how you are? No, he didn't buy it. He just paid for it. <laughs> right? Yeah, he was. I'm still it. paying for it. How awesome. 53 years they've had that. That's still awesome. in the family. Well, I was in the car business for 30 years, so I appreciate him. Uh -huh. And my brother has a Chevelle like that one. Oh, wow. But his is that burnt orange with the straw. Oh, it's oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, so yeah, we're a car family all the way around. You guys have a great time, okay? okay sure. Bye. Okay, this is Ken and Ruth Getz. We're from Ephrata, Pennsylvania. We drove 660 bow for a bologna sandwich. <laughs> it, took, it took us 10 hours. We left at quarter of six in the morning and got here about 5.15 in the afternoon, stopped for a lunch, uh, a little bit of a lunch, but basically it takes 10 hours to get here. We found out about this place on YouTube, all the videos that that the gentleman does, and that's what brought us down here. And when we booked, we booked to stay at Gre at Gray Gables with Miss Linda, and the, we just happened upon this weekend. And then later on, we found out that the cruise was happening this weekend. It's just awesome. Uh, just, you had a good trip. How, how many days y'all staying? Well, we were thinking about going to Nashville one day, and then maybe over to Gatlinburg to see Dollywood. Make a week out of it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What you think about the old store in there? It is, it's awesome. Is it like what you think, think it was going to be like from the videos? Oh, yes, yes. And uh, it seems so... You see all the videos, and you see all the people, Tiffany and, and Mimi mm -hmm. and all the... And now you see them in person, you know, it's hard to realize. And you, you watch it on the YouTube, and here we are in person seeing them, you know. And you f we feel like we know all you guys already, <laughs> even though you don't know us because of watching all the... You know, he'll check and he'll say, oh, there's a new video on, and then we have to watch that. So, yeah, this is just awesome. Yeah, everybody's so friendly here and just, just make you feel so comfortable. So, yeah. you know Morgan County, you're in Morgan County here. In the whole Morgan County, there's only two traffic lights. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> yeah. So I like that, you know, the, I like the solar place, which is a little busy here today because of the car show, but uh, generally it's uh, not, you know, not, no traffic, no red lights. So Very much. slow paced. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Laid yeah. back. <laughs> well, I really appreciate y'all watching the videos and appreciate you coming down today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
from Pickens County, Jasper, Georgia. They're from Riceville. Riceville about, <clears throat> okay. We're just, Lord hooked us up many years ago. And we just, just ask if they sing me a song. And they just sing <laughs> yeah, have you seen the videos I've made with Linda? <laughs> we've seen a lot of your videos. Yeah. I don't know if we've seen all of them or not. But no. we've seen I've, I've done a couple with Linda. Uh -huh. It's called Cooking with Miss Linda at the Great Gables. We'll definitely go back and look at them because yeah. we enjoy okay. those. I don't think Tells, tells you just need to area. drive over in her parking lot and drive around her place and look at you. you might want to come stay with her sometime. Oh. She's got a bed and breakfast over oh, there. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Actually, we kind of backed up there. We're yeah. parked there because we have a big old trailer. Yeah, we yeah. couldn't find a place yeah. to park. So Did you have to walk there. all the way back? Yes. Yeah. We, we enjoyed it. We need to get out and walk a little bit, yeah. you know. Are you sure? So what do you just do? Sing professionally somewhere? Or uh, around? Not and professionally. And we just minister to the people and we go to churches. We want to reach the lost at all costs. We dedicate our weekends to that. You want to do it one more time for we get another car squealing. <laughs> <laughs> he loves you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. He loves you. He loves you. I'm Ricky Nilly from Rossville, Tennessee, God's country. <laughs> so, and then we got... I'm Ted. I'm from Jasper, Georgia. I'm Becky, and I'm from Jasper, Georgia. <laughs> so, uh, y'all haven't seen any of the videos, but you got got brought up here by your friends here. And uh, so, from watching it on TV and actually showing up, is it pretty much what you like what you saw on TV? It's always more impressive to see it firsthand. You yep. see it on TV and you can't just get the gist of it, but it's always a lot funner. We, she, since she's seen it, we just had to come. So it's yeah. better in person once you get here. Oh, yes. She's yes. not disappointed. Yeah. No, by no means. It's just delightful. So tell us about your car a little bit. It's a 84 LTD LX. It's got a twin turbo Coyote in it, turbo 400, and it's just a fun street car. Makes uh, about 900 horsepower. 900 horsepower. Did you build it? Uh, no, it's just a stock motor, but I put it all together. Stock motor? Stock motor, yeah. Really? I built the turbo kit. and. Yes, what, what motor is it stock? It's a 17 F-150 Coyote. Okay. What cubic inches is that? 302. 302, okay. 302. 302. There we go. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. So what's what's with the the wheelchair? Uh, it's hiding a parachute mount. It's hiding the parachute mount? Yeah. Okay. So how long have you had this car? Uh, uh, five years. Five years. Oh, fun, huh? Yes. Uh, took it to the track last night and run 145 mile an hour through the quarter. Well, how about that. It's fun. So now tell us about your truck too now. That's a big one now. I'll tell you what. How you get in that thing? You gotta climb you got up in that. You just have to climb. Climb. Golly. Yeah. Did you build it like uh, that? No, I bought it to pull my car with. I it was like that when you bought it? It was like that when I bought it. Where you found a truck like that at? Uh, it come out of, uh, down around Nashville. Nashville, how about that? Was it a show truck or something? Uh, it was, it come yeah. out of Florida. Yeah. And Somebody spent a lot of money on that. Seven point three power stroke. How about that? So what size are them tires on there? Has a uh, twenty four inches of lift and fifty three inch military tires. Fifty three inch military tires. You come up, have you been here before? Uh, yeah, I usually I brought this last year. Did I, you? I had my car was down with I was having a transmission built for it, and I I went to the track last night and then I figured we just didn't want to miss this, so we just showed up. <laughs> Glad you're here. Yep. Put on a fun. good show. I appreciate it. All right. Good talking to you. Yep. You too. Yes, it does. So much Thank you. you. Can't express that enough to enjoy and feel. Your mama tore me up. She said, I'm taking you out here to get these CDs for you. I said, okay. She said, but I'm taking you back to I said, no, you don't have to do that. She said, but I want to. She said, y'all tore me up in that store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made something for your mama back there. Yeah. I got a video. Yeah. Yeah. She come up, ask us if everything's okay and good, and I said, yes, I don't think I'm waiting on the Lord to come back. She said, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing. 
Let their time that they're here be a time of respite, yes. Father. Let it be a time of encouragement, Father, as they go forth, Father. So we just glorify you and praise you in your Your precious name. Amen. Thank you so much. Every time I declare to you and your family and your business. Well, I thank you guys. And, you know, I I just... Katie and I have grown a lot over the last couple years and just realizing that there's nothing more important than speaking about who he is. And so I just felt like I wanted to come out and just love on you for a minute. And God knows my heart. And so just for you guys, I know when we're in ministry and we're spreading the word, sometimes it, it can break us. Like somebody said oh, yeah. yesterday, we were talking about that. And right, right. so Katie and I constantly stay in a place of prayer. And Anyway, I just wanted to uplift things and thank you Hi, for what you're doing because uh, it's important for the kingdom of God. Yes. Yes. And it's important for his coming back. Yes. Yes. So anyway, yes. so thank you for being here. Thank you for singing. So anyway, thank you for blessing my mama. I can't wait to see that. Well, she, she said she when we blessed her, but she's... Okay, well, yeah, she's really blessed. Yeah. She's really blessed. Yeah. She yeah. all over me. Yeah. Yeah. She just told me it. Because she didn't. She, it wasn't the word she said. It's how she said it. She mm-hmm. said, she just doesn't know what she does. Mm-hmm. That's everything. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Jesus laid down his life for us. Mm-hmm. Can we not do the same for him? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. That's yes. exactly right. So. Your household's people. Yes. 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 Oh my God! <laughs> Did you sign my book? We yes. did. Yes, ma'am. Bless you. Thank you so much. Well, Appreciate you. Now tell uh, Katie is really the best about remembering. So will you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Who are you? Your daughter? The daughter? Just pray. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to pray for you. So we'll be praying 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 Bloodline of Grace is the root's name. Bloodline of Grace. That's if you've been saved by the blood, yes. you're in that by bloodline. grace you got saved, you're in that bloodline. Amen. Bloodline of Grace. That's what God gives us. Okay, well that's what we're going to write down and pray. We're going to continue to pray for you as you travel and do yes. yes. the Lord. Yes. So anyway, thank you. The group that we each one of us every weekend pick where we eat at, mm-hmm. you know, to make things a little easier. <laughs> well, the other day, uh, a week or so ago, Becky looked at me. She said, "We're going to RM." She said, first she said, "It's your turn to pick." Ted. And I said, "Okay, good." She said, "But we're going to RM uh, Brick Store." And I said, "Where's my choice in that at?" She said, uh, "That's okay with you, right?" I said, "I don't think I got no choice." <laughs> Remember, we went out to the road, we was going to leave. And you said, No, turn around. I said, Becky, you must come here. So let's turn back around. And we can't find a place. So we come back around. Yeah, we drove out here about three times before we could find a park. We said, We're going to park down there. We're going one way or the other. So you did. Well, it was a plan. We've enjoyed it. And we look forward to coming back. Yes. Well, if you can say this, there's a great plan with God's work. We could have easily left and went another way. Mm-hmm. She then started picking out a place and said, no, our hearts were here. Yeah. We're yeah. Come, we come this far. We're going to stay here. We're going to stop mm-hmm. by a place. There is a will. There is a way with God. Yes, that's right. I had to come right. get that blowny sandwich. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the place Holy Spirit's all in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the mix. I actually, was, I mean, Katie and I prayed. And we prayed all love on our Santa food. And I was blessing people. I was cooking Yes. 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 Yes.
Take the good, good times outnumber the bad. He's been the best <laughs> friend that I ever had. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you too for yeah. what you do. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate the opportunity to meet all you guys. Yeah. Thank you. We're going away blessed when we come in. Thank you. That blessed me. Thank you. That was good one. That was. Is this your daughter? She, it, no, but she's like, she is my spiritual daughter. She's oh, like yeah. my spiritual daughter. She's been with me for three years now. Awesome. Yeah. It's kind of like the love between yeah. Christ and us is we're grafted into that yeah. line. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, anyway, she's precious to me. So God will keep you here. Thanks for watching this episode of R.M. Brooks' Store, and we hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye!